Hello everyone, my name is Mr. N Jersey. In this tutorial, we'll be looking at building your first engine here in Stormworks and adding it to your creation. Understanding how engines work and what they are required to run are the fundamental elements of building creations here in game. Now, engines provide thrust for your creation, whether a boat with its propeller, a car with its wheels, or even a helicopter with its rotor blades. They all require engines in order to work. Let's jump straight into the workbench and get started with building your first engine here in Stormworks. Now that we're in the workbench, the first thing we need to understand is what type of different engines do we have to work with while adding them to our creations. To access your engines, just go to your inventory at the bottom and you can scroll down until you find your engines. You will notice that we have a few different types of engines that we can work with. The first and smallest one is going to be the small engine. A small engine is great for using on your smaller boats and even in cars here in Stormworks. The small engine produces 20,000s worth of power, whereas we can step it up to the next type of engine which is going to be a medium engine. A medium engine is great for using on helicopters and planes and your medium sized boats. This will now produce 60,000s worth of power output. We can then go to the last large type of engine and this will produce 200,000s worth of power. This is useful for using on your more larger ships where you need a lot more power, where you have a lot more weight. Now, depending on what type of engine you select, obviously they'll have a few different requirements for them. The majority of all the engines require the five most basic things. They require fuel, air, coolant, exhaust, and power. Depending, as I said earlier, depending on which one you choose, they might have different amounts of those ports. For example, you can see on the large engine it has two exhausts, whereas on the small engine it only has one. For example, we're going to stick with just working with a small engine. So we're going to go and place it down on our creation. Once we've got that down, let's start working through the different connections that we need to go and get connected up. The first thing we're going to need is we're going to need some fuel. So you need a fuel tank. Now there's different ways you can create a fuel tank here in Stormux. You can create your own custom one, or you can want to use the one of the predefined preset fluid tanks that we have in our inventory. We're going to use one of the fluid tanks that we have. We can search for it and we can find that we have three different types of fluid tanks. We have a small, we have a medium and we have a large. We're going to be using a medium tank for our example. This should be more than enough fuel to power that engine. Once we've got it selected, you can go and put it down on your creation. You can place it wherever you like, I'm going to be placing it over here. Once we've got it down, you can of course go and select it and tell it what type of fuel that you want or fluid you want. For our engine, it requires diesel. So we're going to make sure we have diesel selected. You can change this to jet fuel, empty and even water if you wanted to. We're going to leave it as diesel. The next thing we're going to need is we're going to need to connect our fluid over to our engine. And we're going to do that using some pipes. Now you notice that I've already got some pipes here in my hotbar. If not, you can always go and search for them. They are at the top inside the blocks. And we're going to connect this up. So I can see that I'm going to use a corner block here. And I'm going to go into the fuel port of my engine. If you want to know which each port is, simply take a pipe, hover over it, and it tells you what the port is used for. We're going to click on the fuel one so we know that our diesel is coming from our fluid tank directly into our engine. Let's work on the next thing which is going to be coolant. There is multiple different ways you can set up coolant and cooling systems for your engines here in Stormworks. The easiest one to use is to use a radiator. A radiator here in Stormworks is really nice and easy and simple. It doesn't produce uh, that much cooling power, however it's more than enough for this small little engine. You will notice that on your engine it has a coolant out and on your engine it also has a coolant in. All we have to do is get the ports connected. You can see on your radiator you also have a fluid port B and fluid port A. It doesn't matter what connection you get connected to either side, depending on what you push through it will always come out. So we can always have our in here or even our in on the side. The actual engines themselves do have their own small little pump, so there is no need to add an additional pump on here. So all we have to do is go and connect the pipes to the radiator. That way our engine is now going to go and flow its fluid through here 
to cool it. The next thing we have is going to be exhaust. We need to obviously go and get rid of the exhaust from the engine. Now there's once again multiple different ways that you can use and different blocks you can use to get rid of exhaust from an engine. For our example, we're just going to be using a simple exhaust that we can find in game. You'll notice we can go and select the fluid exhaust and we can go and place it on. That way it's going to go straight out of the exhaust up into the sky here. Perfect. Let's move on to the next port that we have. The next port we have is going to be air intake. Now air intake, once again, you can use multiple different blocks here to get air into your creation. For example, we're just going to be using a simple fluid port. A simple fluid port allows us to go and bring fluid in and out of a, that block. So we're going to be using that. One thing to note here is that if you are building your engine inside your hull, it needs to have access to fresh air. It can't use the air that you've got installed inside here. So if you do have it, make sure your air intake is on the outside of your creation. Now that we've got the fuel connected, we've got the coolant done, we've got the exhaust, and we also have the air intake, the last thing we of course have is going to be our power. Now, we need to decide where we would like to actually have our power. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm gonna go and connect a simple pipe here, and we're gonna to go to the back of our creation. So I'm gonna go and drag that and we're going to go and put a propeller at the back. Now you can use the enclosed pipes to go and hide this pipe, but for our example, I'm gonna leave everything exposed so you can follow along and see where the pipes are. So we can go and put a propeller at the end here. So I'm gonna go and search for a propeller. Once again, we have multitude different options here in Stormworks, but for our example, we're just going to be using a simple, small propeller just over there. Now that we've got that connected, you can see your engines going through your pipe down into propeller. However, we can still add some additional components. At the moment, if we were to turn our engine on, as soon as we turn the engine on, we would be moving forwards. That's because the output from the engine is connected directly to our propeller. We can actually stop that power output from coming across by using a clutch here in game. Now we can go and select the clutch and we can simply go and place it down. You'll notice that the engine's going into the clutch and then into the propeller. That means we can start the engine with no power going through the clutch and no power going to the propeller and get the engine running. And then we can separately control the clutch and tell it when to actually send power through and not send power through. So clutch is really important. Now, along with that, as you go and turn your engine on now, the engine will be running at the same rotations per second as the propeller. We can go and actually increase or decrease the rotations of that propeller, and we can use a gearbox to do that. So for our example, I'm gonna go and add a gearbox just after our clutch here. So we can go and search for a gearbox, and a gearbox allows us to go and either increase the rotations per second, or increase the torque that that propeller or component has. Now you can either do that by switching the direction of your gearbox. So you can see we can go and place it. However, I haven't gone and connected it yet. We need to go and connect it properly here. So we're gonna put an angled pipe and now you can see it's going from the engine to the clutch, over into a gearbox and then down into the propeller. So we're getting more torque from this. Now we can actually configure that gearbox to the amount of torque that we want simply by using the select tool, selecting the gearbox and changing the ratios. You'll notice they have two ratios. That's because you can actually switch the gearbox into different gears. So we can have our first ratio, let's say three to one. And the second ratio we can make it to a one to negative one. This is really useful, this one to negative one. This will allow you, allow you to do reverse thrust. So quite nice. Once we have that in, we have all the components we need for a very basic engine here in Stormwix. So to recap, the components that we've gone and added are all very key essential components for building an engine here in Stormwix. For example, we start off with the fuel. In red here, you can see we have the diesel tank and it goes into the fuel of the engine itself. We then have the radiator, which is taking its cold nice cold coolant going in and then it's taking its hot coolant and it's sending it out of the engine into the radiator. 
We also have our exhaust here, which is taking the exhaust out of the creation. We have our lovely air, which is bringing fresh air in. And then we have our power, which is going out, going into the clutch, then from the clutch into the gearbox, and then finally down the creation and into our actual propeller itself. Now that we've covered the basics of building your first engine here in Stormworks, it's now time to add your controls and systems to your creation. Be sure to join me in the next video of this tutorial series for a guide on how to add systems and controlling your creation. But until then, I hope you enjoyed this video and found it entertaining and informative as always, and we'll see you in the next one.